Our second special right triangle is the 30-60-90 uh, right triangle, where the two acute angles formed, the acute, two acute angles formed in a 30-60-90 triangle. are 60 degrees and 30 degrees, where one is half of the other, or one is doubled from the other. So in a 30-60-90 triangle, there's a special relationship to the sides based off those interior angles. The hypotenuse is twice as long as the short leg And the medium leg, the medium leg, or I guess the long leg, we could say too. Is square root of three times as long as the short leg. So all these lines are all based off of what the short leg is. So if short leg was x, for example, which how do I know which leg is the short leg? Well, the short leg is always going to be opposite of the smallest angle. So when I look at 30 degrees, the side opposite of that would be this side right here, x. That would make the 60 degree angle opposite of the long leg, which we know as um, x times the square root of 3. And then we also know the hypotenuse is twice the length, is twice the length of my short side. So if those are my relationships um, that the three sides share with each other, then our pattern for 306090 is going to follow the pattern of a, a root 3, 2a, using the variable a that we used in the 45-45-90 video. So let's go ahead and redraw this with a different, uh, different look at it. This would be 60 degrees, this would be 30 degrees, and this would be the right angle. So if that's the case, then my pattern is going to follow as such. Opposite of the 30, A. Opposite of the 60, A root 3. And opposite of the 90, 2A. Remember the 2 in the 45-90 was a square root of 2 in the hypotenuse. Here it's just the 2. And remember that that 2 is always going to the hypotenuse because of the high O2 noose. Nice little way to help you remember where the 2 goes in that pattern. So let's try a couple examples of our pa special pattern 306090. Remember that we're going to be following the pattern A, A root 3, 2A. So when we look at this picture here, the 60 grams is right here, so the side opposite Y would be equal to A root 3. If that's 60 and this is 90, then the other angle would have to be 30, meaning that 11 was equal to A, and X was equal to 2A, following my pattern. So now all I have to do is go ahead and find the value of A and plug it in to find my missing variables X and Y. Since A is equal to 11, then I can go ahead and plug in 11 for all of my A's. So which makes X equal to 22 and it makes y equal to 11 root 3. Looking at example 2, we can see that they labeled my angles as 30 and 60. So that makes, that makes it easy to identify which sides would follow my pattern. The opposite of 30 would be a, opposite of 60 would be a root 3, and opposite of y would be 2a. The side that I know is 9, which is located right here. So this is the equation I'm going to start with. 9 is equal to a root 3. So to solve for a, I'm going to go ahead and divide by the square root of 3. And then I'm going to rationalize to get my square root out of the denominator. When I do that, I end up with a value that is equal to 9 root 3 all over 3. And nine thirds can be simple. Nine um, divided by three can be simplified to just three. 
So in this case, A, we can say that A is really equal to 3 root 3, which helps me a lot because that tells me what X is. And that tells me that if I double that value, I can find Y. So 3 times 2 is 6, so 6 root 3 is my hypotenuse Y. Example 3 of a practice case for the kite. The length of the rope on the kite is 100 feet. It's moving at a 30 degree angle. They want to know how far it's moving and how high it's located, how high it's up in the air. So let's write in our pattern. Opposite of the 30 would be A. Opposite of the 60 degree angle would be A root 3. And then opposite of the hypotenuse, or opposite of the right angle is the hypotenuse, and that would be equal to 2A. Since I know the rope's 100, I'm going to start with that equation. Divide by 2, and A is equal to 50. Since A is equal to 50, that tells me that X is going to be equal to 50 feet. And it tells me that Y is going to be equal to 50 times the square root of 3 feet. So looking at those three examples, go ahead and try the four problems below on your own. Make sure you label your pattern and then solve for the variable missing. Once you're done with those four, then you can kind of check with what I put up here on the video as the key. So there are the four uh, try, try, try problems for you to try on your own. Uh, number one, you should have got x is equal to 3. And number two, you should have x is equal to 4 y was equal to 4 root 3. And number 3, x was equal to 13, and y was equal to 26. And number 4 is a special example because number 4 actually shows you how we can kind of use back in previous chapter, we talked about how if I have a triangle where all three sides are the exact same length, 4, 4, and 4, that's an equilateral triangle. And when I draw the altitude of that perpendicular line to the base straight down from the vertex angle of that equilateral triangle, I create two triangles that are both 30, 60, 90 triangles. So when I redraw that picture of my smaller right triangle right here, I can label my sides and realize that since A is equal to 2, the height would be equal to 2 times the square root of 3. Now you're spacing out during this video and you realize that if you look at the recycling bin logo, you look at that recycling bin logo, it's kind of like three arrows, right? It's kind of like three arrows kind of put together. If you would go ahead and, and put inside of that a smaller triangle, you realize that actually that looks like a lot like an equilateral triangle that Mr. Oswald was talking about during the previous problem. If that is an equilateral triangle and you take your rule and you realize that each of those sides are six centimeters, then you could find the height of that logo by drawing a perpendicular line to the base going up to the vertex angle. To find that height, you're going to have to look at your smaller special right triangle, which ends up being a 30, 60, 90. And then you can label the sides. If the hypotenuse is 6, then that's equal to 2a, following my pattern. 30 then would be down here, and that would be a. And half of 6 would be 3. This would obviously then be a root 3. So if you're trying to find the height, you need to find what a is. And since a is 3, the height of that uh, logo would be 3 times the square root of 3. So hopefully this gives you a, a quick snapshot of our lesson here on 30, 60, 90 right triangles. Follow these two patterns for 45, 45, 90, as well as 30, 60, 90 to help you solve sides of a right triangle, um, special right triangles.